Hey, welcome everyone in this new tutorial about Diablo Dungeon Generation. In this tutorial, we are going to get rid of the error we have when generating a lot of a lot of tiles, uh, errors like this. So where where do they come from? Uh, this error comes from uh, tiles generating in a in a circular in a circular way. So let's imagine we are coming from that tile. We are the generating this tile, then this tile, and this one all the way around like this. And then when we are here, we are basically stuck if the generator is choosing the tiles in the middle. So we have to build a logic that basically goes back on its track and keeps building the dungeon in the other way. Uh, basically, we are going to build a, a step back function and it's going to get rid of the problem. Another way to get rid of the problem is, to, is by building a selection logic that always chooses the... Uh, how can I explain? Uh, let's imagine this is our start tile, we are spawning here, and then we are spawning our next tile at the south like this. And then our selection logic says you, ought, you, randomly, chose, you randomly choose the side where you have the more outs. An out is, is, is a spot nearby to spawn another tile, which means you're going to generate dungeons that, that are never going to... How can I say that? To, re to recycle on each other. So, like this. But I, I think I thought a bit about that and I didn't want that. Uh, it was a, a, a design question, a game design question, and I don't want my, I want my dungeon to be able to, to do something like this. And if, if I set up the other logic I was talking about, I'll never have something like this. So I don't want that. <clears throat> so let's dive right in. If I'm hitting play, I got an error. That's because I spiraled, uh, I cycled through my tiles and I built. Uh, that's what I just demonstrated uh, on the document. So in order to get rid of that, we're just going to say that if we're going to find uh, the generate tile layout uh, function and in here if we we are using the function find random next location in this function uh, we are returning the tile the location we are supposed to use to spawn the tile but in the case of no locations if there are no valid locations uh, we are not doing anything and we will return an error if we don't find any location and that from that error we will be able to step back in the dungeon to find uh, a good spot so in order to do that we are going to just see if we actually have any valid location if we do we keep doing what we were doing previously if we do not we're returning the fact that the tile we found is going cardinal random and this is just allowing us to retrieve it on our generate tile layout. We can check if our cardinal is equal to random is uh, we will even tell we will even say different to different from. If it's different from random, we, we keep doing what we were doing. And if this function tells us it returned a random tile, this means it wasn't able to find a spot for a tile, 
So in that case, we want to step back in the dungeon. What does that mean? This means we want to get our tile layout. We want to find out what is the last tile we added. The last tile we added is this one. So length minus one, this is the index of the last tile we added. But the last tile we added, we already have its location. It is the previous location. So we don't want the last tile we added. We want the last tile we added minus the number of time we stepped back in our dungeon. So this is saying I want to find not the last tile we added, but the tile before that. So and uh, why do we want to do that? We want to do that because we are going to find to try to find a random a random next location next to the previous tile. And if we don't find it, we're going to step back once again and step back once again until we do find a valid location for that. So we actually stepped back zero times this time and the first thing we want to do is reset the number of times we step back each time we need to find out because we're going to do that for each tile we want to spawn so we need to reset the step back counter uh, and then what we want to say we want to find a roundup next location at the location of the tile at this index and in the wanted direction in a random wanted direction so how are we going to do this we are going to get the keys of that and then we are going to get a copy of that at this index and we want that this is the previous previous style we added to the dungeon and then we are going to check if the cardinal location is different from a random one and if it is not we will increase uh, we will step we will step back once again so when we come here we increment step back and if it's false we are going to go back to that and try again so basically we will if we loop like this If we find ourselves in this situation and the random tells us to, to, to put a tile in the middle, it will just step back here and tries to put a tile on another side. I mean here. And it, it will try to find a random spot to put the tile in like this. And this will make it so we don't break our maze, our dungeon. So let me double check that we are fine. So if we do not find a proper location for our tile, we are st starting to step back. We are incrementing step back. We are finding the previous previous tile. We are trying to find a random location around it. If we do not find it, we are stepping back once again. So in that case, that would mean Something like this, we already have one tile here and one tile here. So if we find ourselves trying to, to put uh, a tile in the middle, we will step back to that location. But that location is, is still surrounded by tiles. So it will try to get back once again in here. And it will try to find, to, to put that, uh, it will step back once again and put the tile here. So if 
the location we found is not random. That means we want to we want to add that tile to our maze. So we're doing the same thing. This is not really clean, but for now, we're just going to check if that works and we'll see if it's and we'll see how to make it how to factorize the code and to make it cleaner. So if we do not find a location, we are stepping back. We try to find one. Uh, if we didn't find one, we try once again until we do. And we are adding this tile to our list and we will try to see what that does. How can we see it worked or it did not? Well, simply by checking if we do not have the error print we did have previously by generating a lot of dungeons. Uh, currently, how many tiles am I generating? I'm generating 30. I'm going to generate 200 tiles. So I'm going to check that. I do not have an error. I still don't. I still don't. Ah, but I have, I have little issues like this. Hmm, where does it come from? this should not happen I know I know where it come from uh, we need to tell the generator that our preview style is not the tile we thought it was what I mean is, we're trying to find a position for our previous. Uh, we, we're trying to find. We're trying to put a tile starting from our previous location, but we do not find one, so we are stepping back here. And actually, when we step back, we need to tell the generator that the previous location is no longer the one we were using here. It's now the tile. It's now the the location we step back in, we step back at. So this is the previous location. And if I hit play, I think this got rid of the error. Uh, maybe you do not have, I'm not sure. I made some tests before and I created that, uh, I made it so I can hit plus and generate the dungeon. And I don't remember if I, t if I made it on the on the video uh, I decided not to post or on the previous video which I posted so I'll I'll check it I'll check it out so it seems it seems to be working but I can't I, I can't be sure but I don't have any more errors and I don't actually see any problems in the layouts when I look at it like this of course, they are not always obvious errors, but I mean, I can hit four and then tab and I can see everything. I do not have errors. I'll consider that to be to be good, to be all right. So I think this is going to wrap up the video for now. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I hope to see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.